Happy Valentine's Day, Pisces, or if you're single, Happy Singles Awareness Day. <laughs> this is your general love reading from now through February 15th, 2020. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell on the side so that you know whenever I go live or drop new videos. Um, feel free to leave a positive comment down below. This is a general love reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Not all of the messages are going to be for every single person watching, so just keep an open mind. And the roles and stories can be flipped around. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my website is going to be down below in the description box. And I want to thank everyone for all of your gifts and donations. Um, you guys are just amazing and show me so much love and I am so thankful and grateful for each and every one of you. So we're going to pull an overall energy message here first and kind of see what you can expect. And these readings are like a box of Twinkies, a very long shelf life. So they have no time expiration, no limit. You know, they can resonate anytime you watch this video. All right, so we're going to pull an overall energy message. General love reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp through mid-February 2020. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Tarot by Annette. All right, so on your overall energy, Pisces, you've got the stars. A long journey brings rewards. How awesome is this? The star is Aquarius energy. It has to do with prophecy, fate, destiny, astrology, things lining up. When the planets align, when the stars align, it's been a long journey, but it's going to pay off. Someone had to take the scenic route to get to their destination. But hey, it's all about the journey and not the destination here. Someone you know may be in the spotlight or you may be in the spotlight, some sort of a celebrity. But this is about optimism, having hope and faith, being guided, going where you're guided to go. It's destined, it's fated, it's meant to be. All right, so let's get into the reading here, Pisces. General love reading for the sign of Pisces, please, Spirit. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. Can't forget the cuspies. I'm a cuspy, so I know how that feels. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Off the bottom of the deck, you've got the Hierophant. Successfully learning karmic lessons here, being the student and the teacher at the same time. This is a spiritual teacher who is uh, very down-to-earth, practical, street-wise, street-smart. Life has been their greatest teacher. This is also a blessed union of souls, the collective. It's your, um, your faith, your belief, um, knowledge passed down from your ancestors, from your elders, um, having the keys to knowledge, um, and learning, and being flexible, and um, learning to follow your own compass, do what is right for you, follow your own beliefs, your own morals. Um, Maybe um, changing, getting out of the traditional way of thinking and doing things, especially when it comes to relationships. This can also be a traditional marriage, marriage contract, structure and organization. And then you've got the Six of Swords. There's two people in this airship. There's a, a conversation, a healing conversation that's going to move this relationship into calmer waters. Someone's learning some lessons and moving forward here. Okay, there's, like I said, there's two children here and there's two grown adults here. 
maturing, learning these life lessons. Air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. The um, Hierophant is Taurus energy. The star. Got repeating energy here, Aquarius energy. Again, it's hope, healing, optimism, fate and destiny. Going where you're guided. When the sun, the moon, and the stars align. Again, someone may be some sort of a celebrity here. Somebody, this is also the card of the light worker, a healer, prophet. Someone may be some sort of a, a real life celebrity prophet. They're seen in the spotlight, but they're also down to earth. They're sharing their life experience. They teach in a practical way. They're very humble. They come from humble beginnings. Okay, but someone's uh, heading towards the stars here, heading towards together on your path towards destiny, fate. This connection's being guided by spirit into calmer waters. Or you are being guided into calmer waters. And taking something to the next level with the Four of Wands, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's destined and it's meant to be here. This relationship is moving to the next stage here of commitment, next level of commitment, love and unity. Someone wants to take something to the next level here. Celebrating life's rewards. Someone's going to the next level of their spiritual journey here. On the bottom, you've got more fate and destiny. The Wheel of Fortune, it's Jupiter energy. Jupiter is the planet of luck and expansion. It's 10. It's, you know, successfully completing a karmic cycle. Um, things moving forward quickly. Spirit is definitely uh, guiding this connection. So I'm saying, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> spirit has stepped in. Spirit is taking over. Um, someone had to learn some, some karmic lessons here. Okay. Things are moving forward. Someone's changing their, their way of believing and thinking about spirituality and about destiny and fate and prophecy. Underneath that is the emperor, the... King of Wands and the Six of Wands. Um, yeah, somebody is taking action. They're getting up off of their dead ass. Um, someone's coming in like an emperor here. You've got both the minor and the major um, emperors here with the King of Wands and the actual emperor, Aries energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone's coming back from a battle victoriously. Being recognized, receiving a reward, and in your overall energy, Pisces, a long journey brings rewards. Successfully learning some tough lessons here, and someone is uh, was humbled. Someone was humbled here. They were stubborn. They they thought you know they wanted it their way or the highway. Okay. This is a husband, father here, the divine masculine, coming back around for some uh, for some healing, maybe some uh, Marvin Gaye sexual healing. There's a lot of fire here, just saying. You guys are gonna have that song stuck in your head now. And how perfect for Valentine's Day, some sexual healing. Because they had a tower moment here. Their shit was built on sand with rubber bands and popsicle sticks. This is a, an awakening, an epiphany. And you get the star after you go through the tower. And you get the six of swords after you go through the tower. And the wheel of fortune here. Spirit, I said earlier, they're stepping in. This is divine intervention. Someone was shaken awake here. They had some rude, they were in for a rude awakening and they got, they got a karmic 
butt kicking here and they are now healing things are going to start calming down um, with this connection I feel they realize that they do want um, a traditional committed grounded structured relationship that is balanced and they somebody's coming back from a battle they're seeing someone's worth someone is getting recognized and receiving some public recognition someone might have been worried about their public image and they've learned how to think for themselves and take their power back and going against the grain and they don't care what other people think so Pisces, we're going to take the rest of the story over to Vimeo. I'm going to clarify all of these major arcanas. You've got a lot of them here. We will pull in some advice and some love messages as well. If I don't see you over at Vimeo, however, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.